No. It's, bro, it's like 12. Somebody said, yeah. All right, but somebody will record it. If you don't concede or nobody accepts a loss, whatever, we'll get yeah. a judge. All right, so just put some shit and scan shut. Um, you mind me going scaling first or? Um, you can go, because I mean, yeah, you said you wanted to debate me. You just present this scale and why you think Prime Garp's stronger. Mm-hmm. We should be able to post some scan chat. Okay. I dropped the scale. Where? Scans chat. I'm in scan, but I don't see anything, bro. I just dropped it. Is it loading? Oh, oh, okay. You typed it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This, this really doesn't prove anything. You just put arrows. So I'm asking you yeah, to I'm demonstrate like, it with, like, yeah. Like, okay. Like, do you have any contentions with any of these? Yeah. With what? Um, Everything. Like, I don't understand why I would have to accept, like, you put in arrows over another character and then assert in a character's relative without I'll, actually showing why they're relative. Like, I was just going over the scale to see if you have any contention. Okay, um, I'm assuming you want to go over the old guard versus Marco first. Okay, we can do that first. It's fine. Um, you're aware of like old guard being able to like speed blitz Marco. You said old guard can speed blitz Marco. Like, are you aware of him actually doing it though? No, I disagree. Why do you disagree? No, um, because I think Marco was off guard. Why would he be off guard? Yeah, so Marco was flying towards the platform and then Garp punched him in the face. Like, this is this one. Are you aware of having observation hockey? Just, that, that doesn't mean anything. Can you quantify, like, how much observation, like, amateur reaction speed by? I don't know. I have to. Okay. You should, you you should be able to react. He couldn't be able you to react. You just, you just made the assertion that because he has observation hockey, he should be able to react. And I'm asking you to prove that observation hockey amps your reaction speed enough for you to be able to react. You, you see, like, for you to claim that observation is, like, circumstantial here would be a benefactor. You have to actually provide a case where observation, for Marco in particular, is amping his reaction speed by a lot. Especially because we you know different characters in the series have different levels of observation hockey. He should still have, regardless of the situation, whether if it would amp it by even 5%, he should still have some sense of precognition. He should be able to precog this attack and you wasn't doesn't, able that to doesn't, That doesn't change what I said. So you can be flying in the sky or you can be like, uh, Marco could be at destination she, um, and then from destination C, you have to cross point B and then uh, point A is where Marco wants to go. So Marco, upon trying to get to point A, gets intercepted at B. But Marco, you would have to quantify as well as show the amount of observation that he has. Because if you can't, he doesn't have this level of future sight or an innate ability to a high degree to where he would just know minutes before. Then Marco could just have a 0.1% reaction or like a, a pre, like some sense of like precognition for his ability, right? Um, and then him being intercepted, he still has to be fast enough to dodge. And then we see that with like Luffy getting hit with Thunder, Bagua, and other attacks in the series. So, no, you can't make the assertion yet. Just because he has the ability, he would have precog and he would just dodge it because you still have to be fast enough. Like it would be different if he knew minutes ahead of the time because then he could have just changed his flight pattern or something. So. Yeah, that, that doesn't work for the case. There's also the fact that, like, Kizaru is stated to be the fastest admiral, and the admirals are literally stated to be stronger than Garp anyways. Where are they stated to be stronger than Garp? Yeah, sure, I'll get it for you. Um, Push up my DM, let's move. All these fucking Let's 
find this statement. They go all the way through my fucking one piece section. Okay, here you go. Found it. That's annoying. My phone, I'm on my phone, so I don't have all my shit saved by PC. Like it's good, sorry. Yeah, it's like verbatim stated that the admirals are the strongest out of all the Navy officers when referring to these three. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't even just say, like, um, yeah, they're just the strongest admirals in history. It just says officers, which includes every single rank in the Navy. Why, why would this apply to Prime Garp? Um, this is just important for proving to you why Garp literally performing that feat when it mattered because it's one, it's an off guard Garp, as well as the fact that Keezer was faster and stronger than that Garp. I, I would and definitely say it's Mark. an off guard. I definitely would say it was off guard. I would definitely, I definitely wouldn't say it's an off guard. Because uh, Mark I already, I already at, just explained to you why it was off guard. You, were, you still you didn't explain, give me quantification for observation. You, you was your your claim was Marco was flying towards where Ace was. Basically, Ace was on um some sort of pedestal. Marco was flying towards Ace. Okay. Garp is standing next to Ace. How was he off okay. guard? He's looking right next to Ace. How was he that, off guard? That, that, that doesn't change what I was saying. You can be off guard and still looking towards something. Like that doesn't change it. The definition of off guard just depends. Like it just entails your guard isn't up. For one, we know that Marco is in his Phoenix form and he's directly firing. Whenever we see Marco attacking or in a defensive position, Marco typically switches to hybrid, where we see like him have his wings out, and then he'll have like his feathers, and his body will be tangible, or we can actually see his body, versus him just flying towards an area, traveling. Um, and if anything, you could take the argument even farther to just say his reaction speed is limited or stunted while in that form, um, because consistently all his feet are within his hybrid state. Or yeah, so it wouldn't even matter within context. Like you're you're trying to like assert this value that Garp is literally in front of Marco, and just because Marco sees him, he would be on guard when you're implying that Marco thinks Garp is gonna attack him when Garp was literally sitting there, and the whole narrative was portraying that Garp wasn't even really gonna make a move, which is why really? Sengoku, Sengoku, and other people commented on Garp moving as well. So not really. I mean, didn't yeah, he jump yeah, in it, it, it's well? literally stated. It's literally stated when Garp literally moves and gets up. And Goku when everybody reacts to Garp even taking action because he didn't expect this to be the case, especially because Garp was tormented because Ace was gonna like you know perish and all that other stuff. So, so you're like basically saying Marco was. I, honestly, I, I guess you can know, um have the like, point, but I'd still argue their speed would be relative. I mean, that, that's like, I disagree due to the fact that Kizaru is stated to be the fastest out of all the admirals. And the admirals just outskill Garp in every way, especially in old Garp. Um, and then I would go on to like prove to you why I don't even think it matters because I saw you bring up Prime Garp earlier, but I don't think it matters for context. Because a prime garp literally is just supposed to be unquantifiably stronger and faster. And if you pull out the cannonball scan where it says, like, yeah, he used half of his power. Or or back in my day, these things would fly uh, way faster. They don't fly half as fast. It literally doesn't matter whatsoever. Because that would just be referring to lift and strength as well as um, and correlated to that. And how fast he can lift or throw things. So, like, that doesn't apply to AP. 
it wouldn't necessarily matter. It might, wouldn't necessarily matter if it's unquantifiable. As long as he's above his old state, that's he fine. Would still scale above. He would still scale above his old state. Okay. So Whether yeah, you can even say by point five percent. Where you where you get in that diamond garp is like above an old garp in strength. Well, it's like basic simple logic. Why? Like, because well, he gets old. Yeah, it was. Are you, if, if are you aware? Mistaken. Are you aware of the SBS and like the interview where Oda implies yeah, that he doesn't like? Yeah, are you, are you aware of the SBS that implies that older characters, um, like if anything, you could argue old characters in One Piece don't lose their strength from their prime. Yeah, but didn't it say like their stamina is depleted? Um, no, that's what people use for Rayleigh because they try to bring up characters like Rayleigh had low stamina, but the issue there is um. We never really see Rayleigh get pushed to a high diff situation to where we would know that his stamina even is, you know, did drop off, as well as the fact that for Rayleigh, Rayleigh's case is different because Rayleigh literally just stopped fighting entirely. Like when he's fighting Kizaru, he's literally like, yeah, I haven't picked up a sword in ages. It's been like years. And that's yeah. why he's so rusty. So we know that's yeah. different, but Garp literally is an active Marine. He's a vice admiral. He encounters stragglers. He fights people all the time, as well as the fact that he literally goes on his ship and patrols. Like, that's how he encountered fucking um, Don, like, it wasn't Don Krieg. It was Captain Axe Morgan. Like, he pulled up on the oh, ship yeah. and literally like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's consistent that Garp is actually active. That's why he was able to train Kobe and Hamabo, so. Wait, wait, can you actually get the SBS uh, statement of it saying they don't lose? I get it. Yeah. Okay, let me find it. I don't have it anymore. Let me see if I have it. Yeah, I have it on my computer. Let me see. I don't have it anymore on my uh, phone. Yes, I can. I can go find it. I just have to go through shit. <laughs> Bro, where the fuck did I put this shit out? It's actually annoying. I might just argue without it for now. Um, unless I can find it. Um, oh yeah, honestly, it's fine. I'm I'm aware of it. Yeah, I mean, it exists like verbatim. Yeah. Um, even if even if you diso like even if wait hold up I think I get it. I think someone sent it in scans. On center. Yeah. Um, I bet. Yeah. I'm on my fucking phone, bro. Like, yeah, it's from the SBS. Well, like, wasn't it even stated? Like, um, well, I guess it would only apply to white beard. You couldn't. Um, I. It literally has a picture of fucking Garp, Suru, Rayleigh, and Whitebeard. Nah, it was like uh, 
it was a statement like a kind of was like basically saying like white beard was washed up from his old, like his prime days but i guess it would only apply to um white beard well you're talking about crocodile or a kind of I think it was a kind of it was no, it was a kind statement, of. you're probably referring to a crocodile statement because crocodile literally fought Whitebeard and during the engagement he was like, Yo, what's wrong with you? Like you're nothing like the man I remember, et cetera, et cetera. Versus a kainu literally being like, Yeah, you're an old relic of the past, but that's not necessarily him calling Whitebeard like weak. He's just saying like you guys' era is done. That was like the whole narrative of Marine Four. Like, yeah, these are the new admirals, these are the new characters like this era die like we're the new era you guys are trash that's like the whole narrative there so um okay i guess we can go over your scaling like oh uh, why would like why would a kind of scale to kizuru you said what why would a kind of scale to kizuru why would he yeah Oh yeah, sure. A kind of easily reacts to Marco in Clash with Kizaru. When do you react? Um, Marco and <laughs> Marco and V. It's actually pretty bad. Marco and Vista literally both jump a Kainu and he uses advanced observation, arguably, or he just reacts with his Logia, which is fine either way. Didn't they perception with him? Um, I think I'm just no. Scared. They they literally just uh, I'll get the scan. Like they literally just hockey users now. Yeah, they we'll they see. don't do anything. That's why you see that his devil fruit mixed apart, which means they didn't damage him. Because if it says hockey users, that incites that they were using hockey, right? And then if we know Akainu wasn't damaged, that obviously means he didn't actually touch him. So the common sense here would just be, yeah, he didn't actually damage him. Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't say uh, I guess. Yeah, so he literally reacts to Vista and Marco at the same time, which would be a way better feat than anything he's already did. <clears throat> I mean, I, I still think, like, outside of this debate, I think you can argue Kizer is faster because it's already stated. Um, You could just argue yeah. yeah, Kizer was holding back, which is in character anyways. Or you could just say, um, what's it called? Kizer being the fastest admiral is only referring to travel speed. So, And then, like, um, like, um, uh... Akainu was able to get tagged by Whitebeard, and Kizu was just able to blatantly just blitz him. You say who? Oh, Akainu was able to, yeah. Kizu, Kizu, Kizu uses his laser beam or his light beam to blast Whitebeard through the chest. But yeah. this is already weakened Whitebeard, and it gets even more weakened from Akainu, um, as well as the fact that even if you don't accept that line of scaling, Every time Whitebeard actually damaged Akainu, it's because he was off guard. Because he off guards him, and then from that off guard point, then he literally starts hurting him even more. He like literally sidelined and off guarded Akainu. So, and then Akainu still ate that bitch. Like for the Yonko and Whitebeard wankers, like Akainu got trucked off guard, like while stare, like staring forwards, and then just got up and like. Like he just ate that shit. He was just slurping on it. Like not necessarily. Didn't he perceive it? Like his eyes were even like shown looking back at um, um like in the anime. In the anime, they make it look different. In the anime, they literally I just mean, dick suck uh, white beard. Like they have a clip of it, just like fucking a kind of when his bug eyes are sticking on. He's like, oh. <laughs> and then you have like fucking Whitebeard trucking him or some shit. In the manga, it's literally just Whitebeard behind a kind of. He's staring forward. Um. And then you see a Kainu, the next panel, just truck his ass from uh, the back. And then he yeah. literally gets up. So even then, even if like a Kainu noticed, it, it really mattered. Because like I said, you can still look at somebody or know something is going to happen and still be off guard because you're not like battle prepared. Um, and you didn't expect something to occur in the situation. It's like you having to get ready for an attack last minute. So... So, like, what's your reasoning of why he see would scale above Prime Garp? Um, well, you, you can't prove that Prime Garp, where you can't prove that Prime Garp is, like, above an old Garp, at least right now. Um, two, all the, all the admirals in general are stronger than Garp. Uh, they should be more durable, too. It's also stated that Kainu has the most offensive Devil Fruit. Like, you could argue it's just referring to his attack potency because we, when, he literally has no anti-feats. Like, um, what? Well, wouldn't like wouldn't that statement like be technically contradicted by like Gart being able to fight on par with like 
Roger. Roger, they would fight on par with a prime white beard. And then, like, a prime white beard would blatantly scale above um, an old white beard for, like, obvious reasons, like his sickness. Um, and then you can even argue not, in, not inherently Law and stick with his medicine. He was able to fight on par with these admirals. Not, in, not inherently. Um, so we know for a fact that Marco State's white beard is arguably weaker because he didn't use his medicine, mm-hmm. which is fine. Yeah. Um, Whitebeard with his IVs and medicine should be fine though. It's similar to like how Roger had um, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I know. Let me get this down. Oh, okay, yeah, Crocus. That's what I was fucking thinking of, bro. It's late as hell. But yeah, fucking Roger had Crocus. And then we know, like, verbatim, while Roger was literally interacting with Shiki and the Shiki parents, Crocus thinks that Roger's okay despite Roger being sick. There's, like, a narrative implication that even while you're sick, that doesn't necessarily limit your fighting capabilities. And then we see, like, a Shanks and Whitebeard clash, like, his Basento to his sword while he has his IVs in. So... Um, yeah. I don't think it changes the scale in drastically because Shanks was literally on par with the Admirals regardless via the statement. Um, I, I think it does change the scaling, though. It doesn't. Because if this Garp would be relative to these prime versions of these characters, and this prime Whitebeard would like inherently just scale above this old Whitebeard. You didn't provide because why that would be the case. He said why, because Marco blatantly said... Yeah, um, you said Marco. You said Marco said he would be sh- like stronger. He's weaker because of the IVs. There's no quantification, but we know when he has these IVs and he's on medicine, he's relative to Shanks. Like, what is this change? Yeah, like, like, like what? Like what? I already went over this. I don't necessarily have to quantify the exact amount you of do. how much you do. Not necessarily. All we look. It's all we have to. All we have. To, even, even if he's 05 percent stronger or faster, this yeah. white beard would be would scale above this other okay. form of white beard whether it's unquantifiable are you, or not okay are you, are you done yes okay you you do like again um for Why you would to I have assert to that for you to okay are you gonna keep like being ignorant or are you gonna actually like listen like okay so the reason why you do is because if you assert the fact that a prime white beard is stronger than an old white beard, you, you can't prove that at all. We already went down the old scale. And the only way you can prove this is the case is by trying to assert that white beard with medicine or while on IVs is actually stronger or faster. Um, and again, we can't actually prove it. The only way that we can demonstrate how strong he is on medicine and IVs is saying that he's relative to Shanks because that's literally what he did. He clashed with Shanks. Him and Shanks broke this guy, which is Conqueror's Hockey alone. Typically, whenever Conqueror's Hockey is used in conjunction in a series, at least in One Piece, we see this like Luffy, Dofi, Luffy, Chin Zhao, um, Luffy, Kata. They're always relative in terms of power or somewhere on the same power scale. Um, and there's a lot of statements that imply that Yonkos are relative or equal anyways. So, yeah, so at best, you're just proving that white beard while on IVs and not sick, um, and you would be able to fight in perfect condition, is equal to Shanks. So, unless you can prove Shanks is stronger than the Admirals, which I don't think you can do, um, then I would disagree with the take entirely. And the reason why I would disagree with the take is because I would assert the value that Akainu was literally stronger than Garp, who should be equal to a, a white beard if he was at full power anyways, or he wasn't sick, and we know Akainu outclasses him. So there's two lines of scaling presented. One, Shanks is just equal to Whitebeard, and you can't demonstrate that Shanks scales above the Admirals. Or two, Garp is literally just equal to Whitebeard on IVs. So either one works to prove the Admirals are stronger. No, uh, I never, yeah, I always agree with Admirals above. Um, I don't got no rebuttal right now. Yeah. There's really, there's really not much, bro. Like, the Yonkos really are not all that, bro. Like, um, you could take it a step further and go to, like, advanced conquerors hockey, like, narratively, um, and, like, why it's misinterpreted, like, hybrid Kaido and Dick Mom being able to access this level of hockey um 
And Kaido thinks this is what makes people powerful, but you don't have to agree with Kaido because hockey is just an amplification of your base power. Um, so if this is the case, so there's other ways to beat people. Well, we know that we have feats presented for Akainu, and we know that we have feats presented for the rest of the Admirals. And what they did to Whitebeard as well as them literally just scaling above Garp anyways in context. So I, I'm pretty sure the narrative here is literally aligning with the fact that, yeah, the Admirals scale above these characters that can even access Advanced Conqueror's Hockey similar to the way that it was parallel in Roger and Whitebeard earlier into the arc um, using this type of hockey. And then we have all these flashbacks and symbols throughout the story of the rooftop fight that are showing us, yeah, like, yo, Luffy and Kaido are at this level or they're at this level of power. There's, it's just like this fight. Or it's reminding him of these people. Like, that's the whole narrative there. And um, that's still insufficient compared to the Admirals. So... It's because, like, the problem with my scaling on it, uh, I was basically relying my prime garb, like, the old statement. Like, it it wouldn't really apply to garb. It yeah. would only apply to, like, freaking Rayleigh. Yeah, so, like, and Rayleigh, Rayleigh being... The, the thing is, though, the Rayleigh thing has nothing to do about him being an old. It just has to do with him not fighting for a long time. Like... Yeah. Yeah. That's even worse, though. Um... There's also like a premise trap there. Well, not even really a premise trap. It kind of just traps you because um, you can actually use Rayleigh as a perfect example to explain why the Admirals beat the fuck out of the the Yonko as well as Roger Rayleigh in that whole era. Um, because we know Rayleigh and Roger are literally relative, like verbatim. Um, we know that Roger, if Rayleigh gets old, and the only thing that changed here um, is stamina, or you just assert this, and we have all these variables that we can't account for, except for the fact that really stamina uh, is lowered. Kizuru literally verbatim states when he came to Sabaudi that he thinks that he can just chill and just troll the whole time and he can go easy. Then he encounters Rayleigh, and then Kizuru is still, you know, there, there's nothing here to incite that Kizuru is having a, a extreme diff fight or anything. He doesn't even use his sacred jewel like he did on Whitebeard, which is a stronger pirate. So Kizuru was literally holding back and used weaker techniques intentionally while trolling and fighting Rayleigh casually. Like, um, doesn't he like blatantly say like Rayleigh was able to hold him off? Like, there's no, um, yeah, there's no he, can hold him, he, can, he can hold him off. But the thing is, there's a lot of those hold offs in One Piece presented. Like, I think you can argue when Luffy fought Chin Zhao in the Dress Rosa arena. I think you could argue Chin Zhao holded Luffy off. Do I think Luffy was stronger? Yes. Do I think if Luffy went all out, he would have beat the shit out of Chin Zhao? Yes. But holding but, somebody off in one piece consistently and narratively just implies you're able to clash or you're able to go toe-to-toe with this person. Rayleigh can like, go toe-to-toe with Kizuru. That's fine. That just implies like a mid-diff or, or like I said, yeah, a higher just, standard yeah. or low diff. But that doesn't entail <laughs> that Rayleigh could do anything um, to Kizuru. When we see Kizuru literally do the same shit he did against Rayleigh, but spam in majority. You can literally look at the way Kizuru approaches Whitebeard versus the way that he approaches Rayleigh, and they're two different types of fighting styles entirely. Okay, so you're not arguing old Rayleigh would be like relative, like low relative to mid relative to Kizuru. Um, yeah, you can argue he's like uh, mid, like Kizuru's mid diff and Rayleigh, like old Rayleigh. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Especially with during that whole holding off clashing scenario, we know that Rayleigh is literally just getting tired, and Kizuru could have literally just kept that level of strength and eventually just won, just chilling. Like, uh, which is weird because some people like to wank Rayleigh and then suck him off and then say stuff like, "Yo, but the admirals won't make a move." The whole thing in like theme in One Piece that's presented is literally like conservant forces, and we see that whenever like Kizuru wants to just pull up on Big Mom and Kaido at the same time, and then he's like, "Yeah, we don't know about the forces here." Like it's just common military tacticians. Like you're not going to just do a bunch of things that you know that can have a lot of casualties. Casualties are important, so you're not going to send 300 troops after Rayleigh when you could capture him but lose 300 people. Like that's so uncool. Like. Yeah. That's so unnecessary. The only yeah. time they actually care is when he goes to Marine Four with Luffy to troll, and then they're like, "Okay, yeah, we're like we have to get this nigga because you know <laughs> it's disrespectful." But <laughs> um, 
Ray Lee is Yonko level. I mean, I don't like the the only fucking level you can use in One Piece probably is Yonko level because we know that they're at like a set power. The only case is for Luffy, but we know that Luffy it technically isn't a Yonko. And if you do accept them as one, it would be like a Goko. Um, and it would change the kanji entirely because it has nothing to do with the fact of Yonko meaning four emperors and the four emperors being relative or equal. So wouldn't wouldn't admirals be like a set system as well? Like No. You know like Momonga was re- like recommended to be an admiral. You know, like Momonga struggled with the Sea King and then he went to like uh, he went to Amazon Lily. And then Boa Hancock beat the shit out of Momonga. And you got, like, like mind hacks and slapped. Like, then it gets garbage. He's ass. I don't care. Wait, wait. Who the hell is that? Momonga's a nigga with the mustache and, like, the long-ass head. He's, a, he's, he's garbage. Like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. He, went, he pulled up the Amazon Lily to, like, shut some shit down. And then got, like, <laughs> he's got bullied. <laughs> like, that nigga's ass. I don't remember that. Hold on, hold on. Longest buds. I don't see him. When I look him up, how do you spell it? Um, M O M O N G A. He's in chat. Somebody posted him. General okay. chats. Well, scans, scans. Okay. He's ass. <laughs> There's also worse niggas. There's like a bunch oh, of trash people right. that are recommended for Admiral. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I remember this nigga. He got folded by. But like, wouldn't wouldn't he like? What do you the mean, only, you only lose to Boa and her hacks. The only person that's recommended for Admiral that a lot of people don't know. Um, well, they know who it is, but they don't know that technically she might actually just like slap out the verse is Suru. Um, because we know that Suru could like literally fought Roger. <laughs> like it's like literally stated yeah. that like she was boxing with Roger and Whitebeard and shit. So I don't there there could be context added there, but you could like you could argue some shit like fucking Suru is like Yonko level, bro. Like she's hanging with Whitebeard. Yeah. Wait, what I don't know. Well, didn't he only lose from Hack still? If I remember I don't, I don't really remember I seen this years ago. Didn't he, like, lose from, like, her love beam or something? Yeah, he's garbage. He himself out of it. Yeah. He, he, like, bro, the whole point was for him to go to the island and pull up on these niggas. And it's fucking Boa Hancock, the feetless bastard. Like, Boa's trash. I, I don't care. Like, like he went, he went to the island. He pulled up. And then Boa hit him with the love beam. He got bullied and, like, slammed. And then he, it got to the point where he's like, yo, maybe if I stab myself, I'll break out of the genjutsu. And then he, like, fucking stabbed himself and started, like, bleeding, like, just to get out of that shit. He's ass. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Momonga's well, bonds, bro. Fuck Momonga. Like, when the was he still? Like, be- yeah, and to support, like, the Yonkos being, like, the only like, I don't know, level in One Piece is because literally, like, when Whitebeard is, like, um, like, when he dies or whatever, and then they go into the whole, like, replacing Whitebeard or finding the next Yonko, every character that they think that could replace Yonko, uh, Whitebeard is literally probably fighting Whitebeard or on par with Whitebeard. Like, Marco could fight on par with Whitebeard. I don't think Marco could beat Whitebeard. I think Marco could fight Whitebeard, which is a difference. Um, yeah. Blackbeard was literally like recommended and considered, and then after we see Blackbeard literally fondle and like you know rape Marco, and he gets body slammed. So yeah, the Yonko well, no, rankings are pretty consistent in the series. Also, if I'm not mistaken, there's also um a data book statement stating that the Yonko is a relative or something along well, those lines. No, that's that's something a that's along. a guy. That's a guy, and it says like uh, the Yonkos are like equal. Um, there's another one that says something about Shank, which is kind of like Rat, but, um, the fucking, uh, what was I going to say? The Yonkos are literally just stated to be, like, equal or, like, implied to be relative in the manga as well as the novels, so. Well, yeah. Why are you guys posting my GIF in, uh, in scan chat, like? I was jumping on the bed like what's wrong with you guys. Um, um 
<clears throat> but yeah, do you, um, I mean, I, I think you kind of did already, but I mean, is there anything else like you want to concede the debate like formally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll concede. Yeah. But yeah. Oof. Um, yeah, Rogers trash. Uh the Yonkos are trash. Don't care. Um yeah, right. the one's Blackbeard and Katakuri's buns. Oh boy, yeah, fuck that nigga. <laughs> I've been saying Katakuri's buns. Um Rogers 